In today's video, I'm going over an awesome all-around tripod for both cameras and smartphones, and why I think it makes an excellent budget tripod for photography, videography, and live streaming. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel, I review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you are new here today, definitely consider subscribing to catch future videos just like this one. Also, at any point, feel free to check out the description box below. I always include a recap of all the points I covered in today's video, as well as where you can find this tripod. So if you're looking for a solid entry-level tripod for beginners to photography, videography, and even live streaming, I've got a cool multifunctional tripod I'm going to go over today. Before I get started, I want to say a quick thank you to PhotoPro for sending me this tripod to review. PhotoPro is a company that specializes in camera tripods, monopods, heads, and other photography accessories. Anyways, if you'd like to learn more about their newest products, I'll link down their brand below. The PhotoPro DIGI 3400 tripod is a tripod designed for compact cameras, camcorders, and even smartphones. Its compact, collapsible design makes it a great portable option for travel and both outdoor and indoor activities. The tripod's three-dimensional head allows you to capture different angles and perspectives by tilting and panning across three axes. The versatile tripod kit also includes a quick-release plate, a smartphone adapter, and even a GoPro adapter. So I do want to go over a couple of the specs on this tripod. The first being that the minimum height of this tripod is 15 inches. So if you place it on a table like I am, this height is 15 inches, that's the lowest it can go. And the highest it can go is 47 inches, just below four feet. It does that through its extending legs here that lock into place once you extend it. It also does have a 1 4th inch thread right here on the top. That's for your cameras and camcorders. So you wanna check under your camera and camcorders. 1 4th inch is pretty much the standard size, but just to be sure, that's the kind that fits on this plate. With that being said, it also does have a quick release plate. You simply click this button right here and it quickly releases the plate just like that. So this allows you, with a little ring right here, to screw this in right under your camera. And then once you have it in your camera, your camera is on there, you simply slide it right back into place and lock it. So that's easier than having to unscrew your camera if you want to take it on and off. You just click the plate it's quick release. One last thing about this tripod, the maximum load on this tripod is two kilograms, which comes out to roughly about 4.4 pounds. So you wanna make sure that your camera, it's very important that your camera is under that 4.4 pounds, including the lens if you have a DSLR. Now in the case of my Canon 7DD, which I'm shooting on right now, it weighs 1.7 pounds and the lens I have weighs about half a pound. So together it comes out to about two, two a little under two and a half pounds. So it's fine for this, but you want to be sure that your camera is under 4.4 pounds for this tripod. Another thing I want to say about this tripod is it really gives you a lot of flexibility. Not only can it be used for cameras and camcorders, but it can also be used for smartphones and GoPros. It does come with two adapters. As you can see, they have the 1 4 inch thread I was talking about. This is the GoPro adapter. You simply screw it on. I don't have a GoPro, but if you do, that's a cool add-on. The other one that I'm really interested in is the smartphone adapter. You simply can extend it to fit your smartphone. The maximum width on this extender, this adapter, is 85 millimeters, which comes out to just about 3.3 inches. Now in the case of my smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, with the case on, it comes out to just under three inches. So it fits right there, nice and snug. You simply slide this on. It actually has two threads, so you can choose which angle you want. And I'll show you that right now. So once you have your smartphone into the smartphone adapter, by screwing it into the thread right there, you simply slide it into the quick release plate just like that, and your smartphone is now locked in place. Now this is what I was talking about. It's really cool that it has a three-dimensional head. So the first being, right here in the back, there's a little screw, a little knob actually. You loosen this knob, and you can adjust your smartphone. You can adjust it, see different angles. If you want to capture a vertical angle, for example, that's pretty cool. Any degree in between, 90 degrees. Or you can lock it straight up. The other two axes are left and right, so you can pan. If you want to pan a landscape, that's pretty cool. And you can also go up and down. You can capture something below or something above. So that is pretty handy, three-dimensional head. So in terms of the design of this tripod, it is made out of aluminum material and it is collapsible up to 15 inches, like I said. So once you're done with your smartphone or your camera, simply slide it out the quick release plate and you simply just click up this bar right here and the legs collapse and the panning bar also collapses in so it's very portable. 
And one last thing I do want to say about the design that makes this a really nice for beginners is that it does have individual locks on the legs. You'll find that a lot of entry level tripods don't have individual locks. Let me show you what that means. As you can see here, when you extend a leg, you open the lock, you extend the leg, you lock it back into place. And you can do this on each level, lock it into place. That ensures your tripod is a lot more stable with individual leg locks. And two last aspects I forgot about the design are that it has its own bubble level right on the top there. So when you put it on a surface, you could look at the bubble, make sure that it's level. And the last one being that the bottom of the tripod does have rubber feet. So that really does help protect your tripod when you have it outdoors. Lastly, I just want to talk about what you actually get inside the box when you get this tripod. Firstly, you get the actual tripod itself with the tripod head. Also the quick release plate, which makes it very easy to slide in and out your camera and smartphone. You do get a GoPro adapter, as well as the smartphone adapter. Lastly, you do get a carry case, which is nice when you travel. Now I do want to say, if you happen to have a more professional camera and you plan to rig a lot of accessories on top of it, I'd probably recommend looking into one of PhotoPro's more professional tripods because those are more designed for heavier setups. But overall, I do feel this is definitely an excellent budget entry level tripod for beginners to photography, videography, and even YouTube. The three dimensional head really gives you a lot of versatility and the extra smartphone and GoPro adapter also are nice add on. So let me know what you guys think about this photo pro tripod down in the comments below. Do you have a favorite entry level tripod? And again, if you would like to learn more about this tripod or any of the included accessories, I'll link down below where you can find it online. So hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video on this photo pro tripod. Definitely subscribe to catch new weekly videos on more awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. And if you haven't already downloaded the Immersive Tech TV Tech Gadget Buyer's Guide, it's a free and comprehensive guide I made with all kinds of cool tech gadgets for every need and for every budget. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out right here. I'll also link it down below. And lastly, if you have any questions about this tripod, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.